Hello everybody, I'm M. Osborne, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Blind. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've actually done anything YouTube related. I am so excited to get back in this game, especially because I've been itching to play Pokemon. I'm so excited to actually get to recording again, and I've been itching to play this game since I've been into Pokemon lately. And... You know, there's a lot of bonus material that I haven't covered yet. So in this episode, we're going to be taking care of a little bit of bonus material, but not a lot. And so starting on this episode, you might notice that I'm on the the bag in the middle of, of a fight. And the reason for that is because I'm right here. Now the reason I'm here is because, well, I meant to start from where I left off because I had a save state that was at the house whenever I had a choice between red and blue but I accidentally saved over that save state so now I'm here because I I had a save state here and this was the earliest save state I had so it's it's a little bad but it's not too bad I just wish I could have gotten my reaction on camera when I actually started this fight because it didn't take too long to actually find Latios and I almost fled from the battle because I didn't realize it was Latios so yeah that was a thing so what I'm actually gonna do is use a master ball because I know that Latios tends to run away and I don't want to lose it and I don't want to spend forever trying to catch it again. This might be a mistake, I don't know, but if it is, oh well, we're going for it. Master Ball, go! Yay! I got a Latios! Yay! Latios was caught! Latios' data was added to the Pokedex. Awesome! Even in hiding, it can detect the locations of others and sense their emotions since it has telepathy. Its intelligence allows it to understand human languages. Oh, that's cool. Give a nickname. Yes, I would love to give a nickname, and I have the perfect nickname for it. Its nickname will be... Robert. Appropriately named. Sort of. <laughs> Robert was the one that wanted me to do the picked the red option and I didn't so I think this is <laughs> kind of funny he's gonna hate me for this but it is nicknamed Robert so good for you Robert okay now that I have a Latios it is level 40 that's not not too shabby um, in this episode I'm not excuse me um, in the next episode I'm going to be leveling up my Pokemon and I didn't do it before this episode episode is because I wanted to actually get to doing stuff so in between in between this episode and next episode I will hopefully have leveled up Pokemon and I actually have a good way to do it since I'm not stupid anymore since I've been playing Pokemon X I know how to swap my Pokemon out in such a way that they all get leveled up evenly so next episode you'll hopefully see some I don't know, right around level 40, 50 maybe? Pokemon? So that'll be a thing. Okay, so I have some suggestions for bonus material for this episode. Starting from the finale episode. Okay, so one of them is visit Steven's house in Moss Deep City, so that's what I want to do since it seems nice and easy. So, I think you want me to fly? Yes, fly. We will fly to Moss Deep City, wherever that is. It's been such a long time since I've known where everything is. Moss Deep, where is that? There you are, okay. We'll fly here. Okay, visit Steven's house. Where might that be? I'm gonna have to be looking around. Don't run to the wall. Um, 
I actually don't know where Steven's house is. I don't think this is it. This bike sucks. Crap. What is it? It's listening. Sit. Oh. Get in. You. Oh, hey. Is this it? There's a item on the desk. It's a letter. To Matthew. I've decided to do a little soul searching and train on the road. I don't plan to return home for some time. I have a favor to ask of you. I want you to take the Pokeball on the desk. Inside it is a Beldum. My favorite Pokemon. I'm counting on you. May our paths cross someday. Ooh. Okay. Contain a Beldum. Sure. Okay. What's a Beldum? Uh, do I? Nah, it's alright. Okay, so it's in the PC now. Okay. Let's go check it out. Uh, who should I get rid of? I'll get rid of you. Why not? Oh, box. Okay, whatever. Okay. Beldum. Level 5. Um, excuse me. Jeez, look. Look at all the Pokemon I've caught. I've, so I've caught so many. Have an eye. Jeez. Okay, so... Um... Am I gonna have to level this thing up a lot? It's only level 5. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll make it work. Okay, that's cool. I didn't even... I want to check you... Check your summary. Prevents ability reduction. Only move is takedown, and that has recoil, I think, isn't it? Okay, well, I guess I'll make you work. Okay, so another suggestion. Where is that? Go to the Fossil Maniac's house in Fall Arbor. Okay. We'll just have to see about that. Oh. Ball Arbor, here we go. Okay, there is a new th new path open. Where might that be? Okay, I'm freaking finally here because I couldn't read directions and I was searching around the actual town for half an hour. So, uh, what are you? If you make a Pokemon dig inside a cave, you return to the entrance. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, there's a, a cave. And I can't run. Okay. Hi there. I'm the Fossil Maniac. Oh, wait. Have I been here before? Remember, I faintly remember this, but I don't know if I actually have a minute. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belong to me. None for you. Oh, you're nice. If you can't bear to go without a fossil, look in a desert where there are boulders and sand that may hide fossils. Okay. Oh, not a. It's not safe that way. I was digging away, you see, when the whole wall collapsed. I think there's a giant cavern underneath now. 
but I've left it alone because I don't think there are any fossils there. Eh, I don't care. Okay. And I'm going to be getting into a lot of fights. I might fight a lot of these just so I can level up a little bit, but not too terribly much. Hooray! I got a ditto! A ditto rearranges its cell structure to transform itself. However, if it tries to change based on its memory, it will get details wrong. That's cool. I actually want one of these things because I actually know what they do. I knew they transform into whatever Pokemon they're facing. I think. I think I know about it, but I'm not totally sure. So, I caught it. It's It'll be useful, I think. I ran into these things a couple of times, and I really wanted to catch it. So that's that's only what I wanted. So now I'm going to use a repel. Okay. So what actually? Okay, that worked. Okay. I think that'll work now. Um, where am I going? I'm going the wrong. I'm going the wrong way. Cool. What is this? Dead end. Hello? Um, what? Is there something I'm missing? Something I'm not aware of. I believe... I have a, I have a feeling. Am I going to get in a random counter? Okay. Um... What am I missing? Why is it... Why is it important that I'm here? Ditto, I've already caught you. Is there something I'm missing? Is there something I'm actually not aware of? Am I missing something? Something obvious? Um, I'm not actually sure, so somebody can elaborate on that for me if, if you want. Um, unless I've already got it. Unless it's, unless catching a ditto was what's it. I don't know. Somebody can elaborate on that for me. Okay, well, since I have nothing else to do here, I believe, I will take another suggestion and go to... Uh, Ride the Fairy, I guess. That's one of them. Okay, so I came here, because I'm pretty sure it's here. Yeah, I believe it's in here. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna talk to these people first. Captain Stur- Oh, Matthew, we finally finished making this- the Fairy S's title. We couldn't have done it without your friend, Mr. Briney. Please go for a short cruise on it. I sure will. For ship to sail safely, we need to know about the weather. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't talk to him. Okay. Hello, madam. Hello. Are you here for the ferry? May I see your ticket? No. Matthew flashed the ticket. Perfect. That's all you need. And where would you like to go? Um, I guess there. <laughs> all right.
Well, hi, hi, Matthew, Matthew. Something's come up, so I have to disembark, but I'm glad to see you. Congratulations, League Champion. There's a place I'd like to invite someone like you. It's the Battle Frontier. What's this place like? You'll understand when you see it. I've spoken with the ship's captain about this. The next time you take a ferry, you should be able to sail to the Battle Frontier. Okay, Matthew, I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Frontier. Battle Frontier. This ferry will build, is built to plow through fast-running currents. We hope you enjoy your voyage with us. Feel free to explore the ship. I sure will. Okay, well, I guess I'll just take a look around. Hello, sir. Welcome aboard, Matthew. They made me honorary captain of the SS title. You can call me Captain Briny now. You know, I retired once before, but when I saw this majestic ship, let me just say it stirred my sleeping soul as a sailor. Wow. Okay, so where's my cabin? I have to... Okay, great. Off. Awesome. Well, that was super long. Did not want it to go that long, but okay. Um, I'm going to avoid talking to these people because I don't want to really battle. <laughs> I believe none of these are mine, so I'm going to go back around. Okay. I'm going to assume mine's cabin one. Oh, hi there. Oh no, I'm cabin two, I guess. Okay, we'll sleep. We'll sleep, I guess. We've made land in Lilico City. Thank you for sailing with us. Okay. Is that all I actually have to do? Go visit other cabins, trainers. Board of the boat. Trip will be itching to battle. No thanks. I'm good. We're down here. Anything actually important down here? Looks looks like not. Okay, well I'll leave the ship, I guess. Sir, we've arrived. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. So I'm like, what? Do I do this? So I guess I have to board the ferry again, which I'll do. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa! What just happened? I just I was just kind of skipping through. Ah, Battle Frontier. Sure. I see. Ah ha ha. Okay. Battle Frontier. I've long dreamed about a place like it. Okay. What is it? Is it your first time here? Please step this way. The front lines of Pokemon battling. Welcome to the Battle Frontier. For a first time visitor, we issue the Frontier Pass. It's for use at all the facilities in the Battle Frontier. Here you are. Okay. We hope you enjoy all that the Battle Frontier has to offer. Well, if it isn't Matthew, you came out here. Oh, Mr. Scott, sir, good day to you, sir. Oh. It's great to see you here, it really is. I hope you'll take your time and explore everywhere. Naturally, I hope you'll also experience a pure essence of battling. I also have my quarters here, so feel free to visit if you have time. Sure. Okay, what do you say? I'm your guide to the various facilities here in the Battle Frontier. Which would you like to learn about? Oh. Um. Okay, tell me about the tower. It is the gigantic tower considered to be the Battle Frontier symbol. There are four kinds of battling rooms in the tower for single, double, multi, and link multi battles. 
Um, okay. Well, I'll probably just figure this out myself. Hi. I'm your guide to the Frontier Pass. Which would you like to learn about? Uh, there are seven facilities at the Battle Frontier. Trainers who gain recognition, recognition for their abilities may be awarded with symbols from each of the facilities. To earn a symbol, trainers may need to defeat other trainers in a row and may need to win events repeatedly. It's certain, certainly not easy to win symbols. I wish you the best of luck. Okay. Okay, so it's just a battling thing. Okay, so this should be pretty interesting. Hello, sir. There used to be nothing here, not all but that long ago. But now look at this place. Amazing! I'll bring my mother out to see this. You do that. Okay. Hi. That's the Battle Factory. You can rent strong Pokemon there. But it makes me wonder, who's raising the, those rental Pokemon? I don't know. Hey, bro. Are you sure we can make challenges even if we don't have any Pokemon? Uh, sure, it'll be okay. I think. But remember that big scary guy? He said, I'll lend you Pokemon. Ooh, so is this it? Okay, check that out in a second. This is the Battle Factory. Seek out the toughest Pokemon. I'm the best out of all my friends, but here, I've been useless. Munch munch. It looks like the square's filled with tough people. It's not as if any... If, it's not as if just anyone could come here, you know. Only those trainers who've been recognized as tough are brought here. That's why many trainers don't even know about the Battle Frontier. Hmm. Uh, oh, what is this? This is the Battle Dome, your path to the invincible superstar. Okay, so what was that thing that the world was at? I'll check that out. I heard rumor that someone saw a Pokemon with an unusually long tail, somewhere in the Battle Frontier. It must be adorable, I'm sure of it. Oh, challenges can wait. I feel driven to find the delightful creature. Uh, what is this? This is... Wahaha! You couldn't tell it from looking now. I used to be one tough trainer. I had a reputation as the toughest beauty around, I tell you. What is it now? You don't believe me? I'm not like that blowhard woman over there. I'm actually talented. Let me prove it to you. I can teach your Pokemon special and yet cute moves. But my lessons don't come free. How about paying for the moves I teach with a, free, with a wee bit of battle points? Fine, fine. Look here. Which move should I teach? Ooh, I have zero, so not as I can. Okay. I know it's hard to see now, but I used to be one fantastic trainer. Uh, it just gonna do the same thing. Yeah. Uh, can't do any of these right now. Where are you? When I was just a wee youngster, those ladies were strong and beautiful. There were idols among its trainers. Even now, age hasn't dulled their abilities. In fact, their Pokemon moves have grown even more polished. But for some reason, I can't help but feel this. Time is so cruel. Okay. Those ladies, the way they badmouth each other, you probably think that they don't get along. But if that were true, they wouldn't stay out here together, would they? I guess it's true. Okay, well... I'm just going to be looking around. I don't think I'm going to be doing any battling this episode. I might do that next episode. I believe I'm the only person here who, for some reason, for some unknown reason, would choose fishing over battling. Huh? You can't catch anything here? That's disappointing. Oh, well, thanks. Ah, so this here is the Battle Dome. I won't let gentlemen beat me. But where is the entrance? Right here? Yeah. Um, not quite yet. I want to explore this place a little bit more, and I'll do this next episode. I finally arrived at the Battle Frontier. I'm sure to grab attention with my looks and ability. I wanted to take a challenge as soon as I arrived here, but on the way, I got seasick. Ugh. I've never actually been seasick. I've never actually been on a boat. <laughs> okay. What can I buy here, actually? First, can I get any free things? Okay. Wait, 
do you have? Ultra Ball, Hyper Potion, Max Potion. Look oh, crap, look at all that friggin' money I have. Look <laughs> oh, crap, these are expensive. Um, I'll take some of these. I think I- okay, I only have five, so... I'll buy five more. And we'll take... some of these. Ugh. I'll take a few of these. Oh, I have none of these. someone here using a Pokemon I've never seen before. I never learned about it at, tra at trainer school, at least. I wonder where you can catch Pokemon like that. I don't know. Giggle, I'm going to go through every challenge with just this baby. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a guy up there, but whatever. I'm not gonna bother. Ooh, another, another thing. Oh, jeez. The battle tower. If none of this is important, I'm probably gonna cut all this out. Okay. Nothing too important. Oh, geez, there's lots of things to do. I believe in you, little buddy. I'll make my little Zig any favorite tasty treats that you like if you win. Okay, what is this place? Holy crap. This is the Battle Palace. Keep your eyes on Pokemon battles. Ah, hello. I sometimes see this really important looking old man going in there. He has these really awesome Pokemon. He seems really nice, though. Okay. So, there's a lot of things I can do next episode. If I ever get around to it. Okay, cool. I just wanted to take a good look around before I do anything. Holy crap, this place is huge! Oh my goodness. This is the Battle Pyramid. Advance through the Battle Quest. Okay. Ah! Wow, this place is really... Really big. I didn't. This is not what I was expecting when I came here, to be honest. Um, I might get. I might be getting lost here. Oh my gosh! What is this? <laughs> this is the Battle Tower. Keep the win streak as the toughest trainer. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> place is huge. Okay, I'm back here. Okay, well, I think that might be enough for one episode, because I want to save all the content for next episode, because, yeah. And so, next episode, I'm probably going to have some heal, um, some leveled up Pokemon, if I'm allowed to get off this island. I'm sure I am. Um, I'm going to level up over the, over, between this episode and next episode. Just so I can not be boring and just use one Pokemon. I don't know what this place has to offer to me, but that's what I'm going to do. So next episode on Pokemon Emerald Blind, we're going to explore this place. Probably do some battling, it's my guess. And, uh, yeah. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.